because it doesn't start recording as soon as you press button. Well, actually, I have an intro to that now. Anyway, I can just edit this part out. Anyway, so today we're gonna ch I'm gonna change up the formula a bit because I have my friend Jack Stringer here. Say hi, Jack. Hey. <laughs> he. So we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge here. What's your channel name now? You keep on changing it. Well, it's pretty, pretty much just the same one. Um, yeah, Chaos Gaming etc. So etc. for like C H A zero five. G A M one N G. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so um, he's going to be building a factory building, and then I'm going to have to make oh, okay. this factory inside of that factory building. Also, a, a wandering villager spawned within the cake factory. So, yeah, this is the uh, last episode. This is a cake factory, so this is just a sugarcane farm. Uh, you can't really automate milking cows, but you can automate eggs, and you can pretty much automate gathering wheat. Um, but I, I sort of half-assed the wheat thing. Like, if I ever redo these videos, I'm, that's probably going to be the thing that changes. But I don't think I'll redo this unless, like, you can milk cows using dispensers one day in the future. Anyway, have you seen the last episode? Me? Yeah. Uh, um, don't think so, no. no. Okay, so here's the rules. Factory challenge rules. These mainly apply to me, sir, but... And um, just so you know, you know what I'm getting myself into. The items must be uh, must uh, cannot be obtained solely from mob drops. So it's not like um, a steak factory and just like make a uh, cow farm. Uh, this actually has to be you know something that actually requires like crafting and stuff to get. Nothing that's impossible in survival. All those standings are allowed. So say I needed a the um, an item from a skeleton, like say I needed bows to make a dispenser factory, um, I could uh, um, get a mob spawner and just like uh, um, like the one over there, and it, uh, just use it as a standing for you know as uh, like a standing for a skeleton spawner or whatever. Um, must be expen expendable, expandable. Sorry. Um, so that basically means I uh, um, if. Uh, you know, so this, is, so basically, with this, you could expand it infinitely. Like you could build more sugarcane farms, you could get more chickens, you could get more cows and more buckets of empty buckets, and you could build more of them and have some friends help you with it. So that is basically infinitely expandable, um, and must require as little input from the player as possible. Now, this isn't really a rule. This is just a guideline I'm setting myself. So it's just like my goal is to make it so that. Um, so you, it's mostly you, AFK then. Yeah, so the only thing that really, really requires player input here is the wheat and the cow. The sugar cane and the, the chicken and the eggs are completely, you know, don't really require any player input other than coming to this chest, picking out to the sugar cane, and we've actually grown free since, um, since I've been in this world, because I put 30 over there that was in there, so yeah, this does work. Um, so I take that free sugar cane, I craft it into sugar, and then just get the wheat, the milk, and everything, and I just put that all together. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, right here next to the cake factory, not within the bounds of the cake factory, so uh, I set up a border for the cake factory. So, this this cake box is the cake factory. So, just set, just to build your building to the left of the cake factory. And I'll set up um, the crafting recipe for what I will be okay, making a yeah. factory for today. And apparently, if you pick block an item flame, Let's you get. Look, then what yeah. we can actually build out of these. One, two, three. So this factory, if you haven't read the title, will be an it um. Uh. Mm -hmm. Item frame factory. Turn notifications off and that. <laughs> yeah. So if I get some item frames, yeah. So this is going to be a basic, easy, uh, ba quite basic factory to build. Um, 
which is why I got my friend here to, uh, so he could show off his channel, like sort of you know, do a bit of self promotion, oh, nice. and just so that um, this could have a unique, bit of a unique spin. So he wants to eh, sticks. One, okay, two, so three, four, yeah, five, cool. six, seven, eight sticks per item frame, and one that eh, ah, and one bit of leather. Now I'll talk about how I'll be going about farming these in just a minute. And once okay, my friend go. here has finished building the factory, so, so nice. um, I guess I'll just leave him to do that, and I'll speed up the footage of him building uh, actually, this. Actually, I've got an idea. You know how we built the charcoal factory on the other world? Yeah. How about uh, we could do sort of take the same concept, but we could um, expand it into like a bookshelf factory? Yeah, well, I'm I'm going to eventually, like, hopefully make a factory for every craftable block. Yeah. Um, charcoal factory isn't too complicated, so I might not make that video unless, like, Probably lots of people want to see it. But um, let's just go through here quickly. Might as well, in the video, talk about what factories I may or may not make while you um, start building that t factory building. Um, yeah. So... You know, planks won't get a factory and neither will logs. Um, walls and fences and fence gates won't, probably, because... Um, oh wow, you can make prismarine walls yeah, now, that's so cool. Um, the, uh, because they are si very simple crafting recipes and you just basically need a tree farm. Stairs, again, probably won't because, well, same reasons as them, as well as doors, trap doors. Maybe, well, you just need an iron farm, um, iron farm for those two as well. Glass, you don't, uh, you know, you just need a good smelting system. Ladders, again, uh, and the scaffolding, you just need a, um, tree and a, um, bamboo farm. Probably not slabs, because again, for the same reason, uh, and again, well, maybe stone brick factory, because... That would be a very simple one to do, and it, 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 and it, making a automating stone brick production could actually be a useful thing somebody might want. So maybe one day, um, but not smooth stone or sandstone or any of this. Not coal blocks. Uh, dry kelp is basically just a kelp farm. Smelting get the kelp and then crafting them into blocks. So that's uh, too simple. Um, not same thing with hay bales and slime and prismarine and quartz and bone blocks and never like wool and same thing with wool and carpet and uh, concrete powder. Um, so yes, I'm basically just going through the list now and right now there's no uh, nothing really that we could make a factory out of. Um. Okay, golden so apples and golden cows would just basically require a gold farm and um, you know a, an apple and carrot farm and I'm, I'm not even sure you can craft enchanted golden yeah. apples anymore um, uh, coal fans uh, um, you just bone meal some sand underwater uh, flower farms you just um, factories would just be like grass blocks and a couple of pist and the, like piston lines are just like place bone meal down and then like, press a button and then the pistons would move the grass automatically breaking them and the die would be a flower farm um, so there's not really much here I could really say would really warrant a factory being built um, you can't craft sponges um, Maybe Tip Tower Factory, maybe. Um, cookie Factory, yeah, that could be a thing. And Pumpkin Pie Factory. 
Um, and maybe right. rabbit stew and beetroot factory and go. mushroom go. stew. Nice. So we just Clock factory that. maybe. Lead factory maybe. Flint and Steel Factory, no. She is Factory, no. Snowball Factory, no. well, that's just a snow golem, basically. Uh, fishing Rod Factory, maybe. Carrot on the Stick Factory, probably not. Compass Factory, probably not. Well, actually, probably not Compass or Clock, because that would require an iron farm, but maybe one day, but probably not. Empty Map Factory, no, probably not. Saddles can be crafted, neither can a horse armor. Tridents can be crafted, Turtle Shell Factory, not really, there's not going to be a really good way to do that. Elytra can be crafted, Totems of Undying can be crafted, Class glass Bottle Factory, you know, that's simple. Bottle O Enchanting can only be uh, found in loot chests or obtained by trading with villagers. And Potion Factory, I've already made a video on that actually, strangely enough. Bed Factory, no, probably not. See that? Uh, that's been mislabeled for some reason, but Lantern Factory, probably not. Campfire Factory, I don't oh. even, I don't even know the crap, probably not though, but you know, um... Bookshelf Factory, maybe. Um, Enchantment Table Factory, probably not. Winestone Factory, maybe. Lectern Factory, probably not. Cauldron Factory, probably not. Compost Factory, probably not. Chest, well, chest prob factory, probably not, probably not, and probably not. Um, jute, note block and jute, probably not jute boxes because they require diamond, but note block factory, maybe, but I think it's just basically wood, so if it's not that complicated. But armor stand factory, that might be something for the future. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, Something we could make a factory around. Um, no, just a bunch of chance blocks. Rail factory, probably not. maybe, but probably not. But maybe like one of each rail factory, but probably not like an individual rail factory. Um. Observer factory. Probably not, because I think that requires never quartz, but maybe. Um, piston factory, maybe. Dispenser factory, probably not, but possible. Dropper factory, probably not, but maybe. Helper factory, no, because that requires a lot of iron, so you just need an iron farm. Redstone comparator, that requires uh, um, redstone and uh, the, um, never quartz, which never quartz is a big problem. Redstone actually isn't, because it's. Uh, like witches that um, drop redstone, does so that it might. So maybe redstone repeater, daylight sensor, that requires no cores, probably not see pistons. Cause, and pistons because they require iron. TNT, probably not because it's just basically gun gunpowder farm plus um, sand. Name, you can craft name tags and uh, banners. Firework factory, definitely. Um, I'm gonna be making that one day in the future, but yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to basic concept. I mean, what's this? Start, well, I've got to start here, so yeah, yeah. obviously you can well, expand on this. No, no, that's what I'm doing. You're supposed to be building the building, not the factory. So you're supposed to be building it out like brick, brick, and oh. um, all that. Not you're not supposed to be building the. Uh, all the resident building. stuff. That's my job. Yeah, you're supposed to be building the building, not the factory. Factory, the factory building, not the factory in stuff that goes inside. That's my job. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, I've got a great idea. <laughs> right. Uh. So, like, let. Pick out an area and like make a brick factory, uh, factory out of like brick and glass and stuff like that. And don't actually build the, f the factory interior. That's my job. Actually, I don't, even oh. idea. <laughs> don't build it. 
No, try to make the survival friendly, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, if you want some light, I don't know. Something fancy, maybe? Make it survival friendly, so e easy to get in survival. So not emerald blocks, like brick and, uh, or stone brick. You know, blocks oh, that okay. aren't too difficult to get. Make sure it has a decent hit, decent um, inside, so I can. Um, so I should be able to fit everything in. Should be able to fit everything in. Well, depends how big you want it. Like, how big does it need to be? Well, big enough. So item frame packs. So, so it needs to be big enough for me to get uh, sticks and leather. So, say maybe. Double or triple that size. Okay. So I know at least two ways of getting uh, sticks, and uh, I want, and I'm going to show off both ways because one way is a lot harder to do than the other, but. Um, it, but um, with one of them, uh, the harder one, I will actually be able to make this like almost fully AF cable. Yeah, you might want to replace that too. <laughs> Okay, let's see, uh, maybe what about, um, normally I go with wood for, for a lot of buildings, but I mean, maybe we could do some like, um, ooh, what about, moss, mossy stone, no, not mossy stone, but maybe, um, how about, how about chiseled stone bricks? A bit of cracks. Uh, yeah, we could do something like that. Some cracked stone bricks. Chiseled with a little bit of cracked in mixed in there, so like uh, just randomly spread it around. All right. So what we'll do then? We'll just we'll start by that just filling it all the first, and then we'll. Well, actually, um, or we could. Oh, what? What are you gonna have as a roof? Ooh, I think we could have. Let's see. How about like, you know what, I always, I always kind of like to, um, ooh, here we go. Um, oh gosh, there's so much to pick from. <laughs> uh-huh. How about, uh, no, that's... How about maybe just like some... Uh, 
glass, maybe? A glass roof on the factory. No, I How about look. stone bricks? Uh, not stone bricks, regular bricks. Regular bricks? Yeah. Okay. And I don't think um, chiseled stone bricks will look good for the floor. I think we should do, do something else. Um, oh, okay. I'll think about something for a minute. How about ooh, stone slabs? Maybe. Oh, yes, st uh, smooth stone. Smooth stone slab, sorry. No, just smooth stone. Oh, smooth stone. Okay, which one's smooth stone? You can type in, in the search bar. There is smooth stone. Alright, so we'll get rid of this then. A smooth stone is literally just stone cooked. So it's cobblestone cooked twice and regular stone cooked once. Alright then. Can do, yeah. Yeah, like I say, I think a lot of my um, buildings usually really, so I suppose, probably a bit too creative for you. I mean, it's always like, um, oh, let's build a um, industrial looking factory. How should we build it? I know, let's put a massive, let's make a massive creeper head. <laughs>
So how high are you thinking then? You know, for the walls? Right, so the um, trees I'll be using for sticks will be oak. So 10 blocks and then that's where the roof is going to be. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So the sapling will be there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's where I want the roof to be about. And it just needs to be a flat roof on the inside and oh, then you yeah. can um, make it uh, look better on the outside. And I'm thinking, so, um, flattening it off on there, and just have that as a flat roof that you see on the inside. And then, okay. if I get some stone bricks, not bricks, bricks, not stone bricks, regular brick. I was thinking of like having a slanted roof. Ah, I see. Keep going like that for a little while, and then, um, and then, uh, and then cut it off, and then I'm like two or three of the other, maybe four. All right. <laughs> so you just keep doing that for a few more blocks. Right, I did. Okay. Okay, so which blocks are we using for this? I've already put the blocks down. Uh, you can use pig block to get the block. Oh, we're we'll using bricks. Yeah. Right. Nice. <laughs> and what? And what are we doing with these, by the way? What? These blocks here, these stones. And that's just going to be a flat roof underneath it, and then we can have like an attic in here, and that could be like a storage or something. I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> Normally my um, window my my front windows tend to be creeper faces just like most of my windows tend to be. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, you can just imagine like um, if it wasn't all sped up, people would just be watching us just building this for hours. Yeah, they may be talking. Yeah. Say. Right, well, this was an interesting development. <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably going to go on to um, uh, audio library or whatever it's called and get some copyright free music because they basically upload music uh, for crea uh, content creators to use. Mm. Wow, it's only 16% uploaded yet. Yeah. That's a big while. I've already got today's video uploaded. Yeah. But then again, this is quite a big video anyway. Yeah, how long is it? Oof, uh, I don't know. So I might have to... I'll probably uh, check <laughs> how long this lasts. Uh, let me see now, 29 minutes long or so? Yeah. Yeah, about 29 minutes long. And then my next other, other video is... Where it's going to... 38 minutes long. Do you remember that um, Creeper song by Danville? No. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but yeah, I remember um, an artist called Dan Danville. I know who Danville is. He's a Yogscast yeah. member. Yeah, he's got a Yogscast member. Yeah, we did like a Creeper rap or something. Probably based off this Creeper on the roof. That sounds so mean from the Yogscast. Oh right. Yeah, and the first lyrics go like, I'm a creeper, good Minecraft Grim Reaper. Oh sorry. Time to look like a mob factory, innit? Yeah. Probably might need to add some light in there, I imagine. Uh, do you want to make this topic like an article or something? Yeah. I like these lanterns because they look uh, very. Um, yeah, like you see them in a factory, in an old fashioned factory. It might be raining mobs in a minute. 
I can't wait to see that. It's raining mobs. <laughs> We'll have to land with him. <laughs> yeah. He's on a new block in the latest update. Nice. Mobs are falling. <laughs> wow. Uh, sheep, a cow, another sheep, another cow, another sheep. And there's a creeper, a sheep, a pig, a pig, a cow. You can definitely hear oh, the pig. Oh, there's a nine golem that fell from the sky and he survived because nine golems can take fall damage. Yay! How was it, mobs? How was it, more mobs? Well, Minecraft is full of surprises. Yeah, I teleported all the mobs back into the sky. And that's kind of broke the chicken factory bit. No, the cake factory, not chicken factory. Something that torches can't, these lanterns. Mm -hmm. They can't go um, on the ceiling. They can't get on So, uh, how high are we planning on having the attic, right, whatever? So... Well, it's just, it's got, it does have to match up. With the, oh, um, I know you've done it wrong! What? This is facing the wrong way. What I wanted what? was... Um, so, I told you to continue on this and you didn't. So, I wanted to go up like 
like this for, say, that long, and then, okay. come down, Ah. And then for it to start all over again. Oh, um, okay. Gin used for this in one of his builds. Okay, uh, I think I get the idea. them all at the same size if possible okay if the last one needs to be a bit smaller because of space and sure it doesn't really matter if the last one's a bit smaller
Yeah, there's clearly not enough room at the end. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit smaller. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. At least not that last, like that last time that um, what the we built a uneven Christmas tree. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, all the pe all those people who like care about perfection and like getting every angle like um, the same. Yeah, they're just all, be like, they're just triggered. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> triggered. <laughs> Yeah, they'll just be like, I'm so triggered right now. <laughs> what the hell? What? what are all these guys doing on top of the roof? Oh yeah, they randomly spawn. Yeah, there's even one that's got like a um, charm with enchanted crossbows. Do you have a hat? Yeah. Well, I'll get rid of them quickly. What are these guys anyway? Like pillagers. Pill oh, pillagers. <laughs> the village and pillage updates. So they basically get around, go around pillaging. Yeah, but there's no villagers for them to pillage it. All oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, the iron golems will keep guard. Yeah. Isaac summoned two ancient gear golems. <laughs> Wait, did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? It's like, yes. That's against rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have ancient gear golems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should name them that way. What the fuck? Yeah, we should totally name him that. Like, oh, we... Jack! You know how I yeah. teleported every entity that wasn't a player into the sky? Yeah. One of them was a chicken and it just laid an egg. And it just came flying out of the sky. What? <laughs> yeah, it landed right here, see? Wow, what's the egg? Did the egg come first? Did God just create an egg and then just throw it down to us? <laughs> Uh, nah, uh, I killed God. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I gave myself strength and regen and uh, all of the um, potion effects uh, max level yeah. forever, and I killed him. Oh, no, it's... I can't name the golems. You need to put the name tag in an anvil, and then uh, rename the name tag. I'll rename the name that. Yes, like you would rename an item. Alright. Then right click the iron golems. Here we go then. I'll do another one for the other guy. <laughs> now, you, if, if you're in creative, it's, uh, uh, you can use them infinite amount of times. Oh yeah, of course you can. You dangus. There we go. That's one. And uh, where's the other guy? There he is. Hey, we have two Asian gear golems. <laughs> Now you look at them, it'll say uh, above the heads anyway. I know how uh, aim tags work, Jack. A. I should summon Asian gear golem. <laughs> to fight the pillagers. Yay! <laughs> We sound like Crowler now, just like, Hey Shaman, hey Shit, get your golem! Ah, <laughs> uh, what will you do, Jaden Yuki? 
Anime oh, I... bullshit, go! Well, uh, firstly, I activate Skyscraper, summon Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, and then attack your creation gear golem. But my ge golem's got more attack than your Flame Wingman. Nah, -uh, not anymore. <laughs> nah, I got my the anime bullshit. My skyscraper has some BS effect. <laughs> yeah. Which increases my flame wingman's attack by a thousand life points, giving it a total of 3100. <laughs> attack points, but yeah. Um, at least it's not as bad as Pendulum or something. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> oh, another, yeah, another I... chicken in the sky laid an egg and it laid here, landed here. Yeah, I just. Pen... Yeah, I... Just like, I Pendulum summon, let's see. To, I pendulum summon about five blue eyes white dragons. I know that chicken laid an egg and it landed there. There's chickens above us. Yeah. And if you want to go like 2,000 blocks into the sky, you'll be able to see them. Ooh, would you look at this? We have a traveller doing this. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get attacked by pillagers, I don't think. I think that might be a glitch. Anyway, you can help me with this then. Help me with this. Just uh, sure, right. Oh, okay, you just another leg fell out of the sky. It's raining chickens. <laughs> no, it's raining eggs, not chickens. Raining eggs, yeah. Uh... Hallelujah, it's raining eggs. And, um, also, a little fun fact, apparently, um, what's it, 11% of the world's population are left-handed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did an oopsie. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag yeah. subscribe to PewDiePie. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to PewDiePie. Yeah. Which is gaming atheist to do And now he's doing a sneezy. <laughs> Anyway, feel free to feel free to comment that. <laughs> this is going to be sped up to music. They won't hear any of this. Oh, so you know, that us tell them in the description or something. Feel free to call me nerd. <laughs> no, because nobody reads the description. Nobody reads the description anyway, but yeah. Nah, mate. No one reads the description. <laughs> Yeah, I always find that funny, like, um, when, even when you're watching a video that says, that has in the title, sort of like, you know, read description, you're just like, 
Uh, I was just here for the video. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. not here to read. Bro, do you even read? <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. I don't read. <laughs> Gonna be a um, that's probably gonna be a comment at some point. I bet just somebody comments on the video like um, like this video if you don't read. <laughs> well, again, they won't hear any of this because it's all sped up to music. Yeah, yeah, like this comment if you read, and it's like no, forever alone <laughs> because no one done goddamn reads. Yeah. I want to read my description. <laughs> I wonder why. Still recording. That's a nice capture card you have to shame oh, really? if it were shame if it were to stop recording. <laughs> yeah. Well the only reason it would stop recording is because um oh, memory card is full. Yeah. Well, that's a creeper blow. All I would have to do is, um... I know what's an egg on the roof. There's an egg right here. The eggs are just falling out of the sky today. Yeah, because there's chickens in the sky. <laughs> wow. Well, so you just spawned all of the mobs in the sky, innit? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't spawn them, I teleported them. So how are you still spawning here? It's raining eggs. I'll be raining and getting creeper. Oh, there we go, there's the skeleton and creeper. And an egg. Yeah, oh, and there's an Asian gear golem on the. Oh, that's just a golem. Yeah, oh, just a random golem. 
We need another Asian gear goal. There we go. <laughs> now we hey, have. Jack, you want to see a magic Asian trick? Gear goal, Jack. Yeah. Mia, you want to see a magic trick? What? Look at the sky. <laughs> That's chicken. <laughs> This chicken. Oh they gone. Ah! <laughs> oh. There's a day oh, chicken gear goal of all the move. La 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 la. There he is. Asian gear goal of the move. We'll see chickens in there. Ah, chickens! Look up. Oh yeah. Oh, it's there's some more chickens. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> so many chickens. Do 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 there's so many like ancient gear golems, it's just like, woo. Wee. <laughs> Flying ancient gear golems. Asian gear golems protecting the factory. Yeah, and some more Asian gear golems. <laughs> there are so many of them. They can't get over here though.
was in this one guy's world one time, and you know how usually you trade stuff for diamonds? Oh yeah. Well, guess what this guy wanted to use instead of diamonds? Yeah. Emeralds! And I said, well, what about villager trading halls? I would basically give them an infinite supply of emeralds. And I was like, uh, well, we'll have to ban villager, tra we'll ban villager trading halls then. But, and I said, but that's the only way to get mending blocks apart from fishing or whatever. And he's like, no, nah, it's not. You can get it from an enchantment table. And I went onto the mic and I was like, no, it's not. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so guys, that guy even know what he's doing? Probably not, and I don't know because um, he actually he actually knows this one guy um, have so many cows in a small pit that it lagged out the entire world. Got angry at me because I wanted to kill some of them, but instead of killing them, I um, met I expanded the hole that they were in to uh, reduce the lag not as much as if I had killed them, but still reduce it a bit. When the guy got angry at me who had the, the cows in the pit, I was like, dude, if he was in anyone else's will, you'd have been banned or at least sort of punished uh, somewhat for having the, such so many cows in the as tiny pit. Because, and then I tried to explain to him that um, the game not only has to load all of the entities, but does it when in such a small pit? Because literally, you could look down into the pit and you'd see a circle of cows. Right. Uh, that, that the game was uh, having uh, to constantly calculate every time one of the cows knocked into each other. That was causing even more lag. And it's like, nah, the, ca the game doesn't even have to calculate when the en entities come into each other. It's like, no, Jack, what are you doing? What? Why, why are you building a wall here? The wall needs to go uh, here. Here. I have no clue. Anyway, oh, um, so yeah, and it's just like, what kind of idiot doesn't it think that a game have that, that a game do, thinks that a game doesn't have to calculate every time a certain thing happens in a game? Like, if it, like, seriously, he's just, just bloody idiot. But I think I've got banned from it because like, it's not in my uh, joinable will to list anymore. So I think they back uh, banned me from it. Oh, and then later on, one of them accused me of stealing food from him when I never. And he only sees that, and I only had like one seed, and I was from punching get uh, mad and tall grass. And, and, I, and as I was going through my inventory, um, because they accused me, and I was like, I didn't tell that I got in my inventory, it's this, 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 and this one. And they got one seed, and I was like, ah, seed, so you took them from my hand. I was like, one seed that I got from punching get tall grass. Yeah. I felt sorry for the girl I was on it because she seemed genuinely nice, um, and she was, uh, and her face was right next to the guy who was causing the shit to the lag, and she was, and she seemed genuinely nice, and I feel sorry for her because um, I don't think she has the backbone to stand up for herself, but um, because like I said, she just let that guy have that farm there, and she didn't know to make a fuss. It's annoying and painful to play that makes it painful to play the game. Was she? Ne yeah, she was just too nice. And it's sad that the owner himself was too afraid of that one guy to do anything about it. Okay. It's like the people gonna be accusing each other of like, I don't know, <laughs> stealing like one block of dirt, even though <laughs> it's funny. He stole my block of dirt! Yeah. This 
was overhanging by two blocks, not one. He stole my cooked pork chop, even though you clearly got it got it from a pig. Yeah, <laughs> even though pigs are fucking everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, he, he killed all of my pigs and it um, cooked them. <laughs> and it, uh, as I said, I've got one cooked pork chop that I got from killing a random pig. Also, he got pissy, uh, the guy I had a, uh, I, after the guy killed all the cow, because. Sound more intelligent when you don't make a noise. <laughs> yeah. When you don't say anything. Yeah, you sound more intelligent when you literally don't talk. <laughs> yeah. And the stupid reward goes to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see that, um, uh, Darwin Award thing I said? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the Darwin Award goes to this guy! <laughs> who was dumb enough to pull a li uh, lion, was a lion or a tiger's tail. Yeah, lion. I mean, it's just like, you do know lions are predators, right? <laughs> yeah, you dangus. McDangus, do you, do you even know what lions eat? McDangus. Yeah, like, do you know what lions eat, sir? Yeah. They just put eat. slabs up here on all the full blocks just to make sure no mobs spawn ever. Yeah. Are you going like to fill in the um, roof? Hmm? Are you going to fill in the wall, sorry, of the roof? Yeah, sure. Like, oh, I wonder what happens if I pull at this lion's tail, like, what? <laughs> Are you crazy, sir? Are you high? <laughs> how many drugs are you on, sir? <laughs> yeah, what drug are you on? <laughs> yeah. Also, don't come away to me when you, um... When you explain to your psychiatrist that you have PTSD after getting attacked by a lion from pulling on its tail. <laughs> hey, if I was in America, you know what he'd do after getting attacked by the lion? Yeah. He would sue. The zoo. <laughs> oh, you lion not attack me. But you pulled on its tail, you idiot. <laughs> I'd be like, it's bound to attack you. Like... It's like, I don't know, it's like if you, if you, I, oh my god, where? I mistyped, we're one billion blocks above the, in the sky. Right. <laughs> I meant to te teleport all the creepers, but I misspelled creeper so we teleported every entity. <laughs> so I, I'm going to fall down with me. We're coming! Oh, oh, I need a lightra. Oh, help me fall back then. There we go, I'm falling at max 
speed now. problem now. We have to go up. <laughs> I think that's right. Find us 9968. So yeah, we're, we're, we're thousands of blocks on the ground. You know what? Just... <laughs> just uh... Oh, I put explanation mark creeper. Oh. There you go. All the creepers are dead. Yeah, but now we have a new problem. Hold on. I mean, the, imagine there's a way of teleporting us back up. <laughs> and Z, so the first and last numbers in the position. Oh god, our current position, we're at 281, make, what, 281, what's that, minus, minus 990. After oh. that. Oh, after that, well that will be minus 359. Hey! Where are you? Uh, here we are. We're We're back. Back. Yeah, finally. Alright, uh, you finish that off. Right. And I'm just gonna do... I'll probably finish this wall and then uh, that'll be me. <laughs> for now. Now we've got a couple things left to do. Right, what? Okay. Add on to that. Uh, here we are. This is what I'm after. Right. 
just to um, add a bit of, you know, like a bit of nostalgia. I don't know what it means, but basically I decided to add a bit of smoke using cobwebs. No, no, we're not going to use cobwebs. <laughs> well, what are we using then? So, I want you to copy me on the other side, so here's all the glass that you need, so you're going to want to copy me on the other side. So, I'm going to start off here, black smoke, that's why I'm out. Okay. Like that basically or yeah. something. And wait, I'm not done yet. So got that, then we're gonna go grey, light grey, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, grey, oh. then light grey. Yeah, do we? <laughs> Just have a sort of like gradient. Actually, yeah, actually, no, I, I'm, I should probably have these connected. Makes it look thicker. And connected. <sighs> Clearly you know what you're doing. This just adds gradient to it and it looks a lot better than just cobwebs because cobwebs look lazy now that we have stained glass and you might want to have it going at an angle so you know it looks like it's being blown by the wind all right and then white so yeah doesn't that look a lot better looks good yeah so you, you try and replicate that on the other side. So basically you have it black, then grey, then light grey and then white and have it as like a gradient and try and make it look like a smoke cloud. Oops. I know, I mean you clearly know. You have a go at it. I guess if you insist. <laughs> I've done one, you can do the other one. I'm going to be doing all the red stuff. And once you've done this, I'll um, set all the um, footage that we currently got onto my computer so that when I do the redstone stuff, we don't lose any footage.
There we go. Something like that. Mm. <laughs> okay, so. That'll do. Let me stop. Do you want to get out of the way? Because I'm going to be using this as like in the thumbnail, so do you want to get out of the way quickly? So I move to the left a bit. There we go. 